All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. They went ahead and updated the official Dragon Ball Sparking Zero websites at the time of recording this video. The English version is currently down. I think they're in the process of updating that as we speak. So for now, we're going to be going over the European and Japanese versions of Sparking Zero. Without further ado, if you guys are excited for the game to drop, make sure to drop a like on today's video and let's hop straight into it. So we did get the official release, which is fall of 2024 to be more exact, October 11th. Now it does say October 10th over here, but just to reiterate, again, this is the Japanese version, so it's just different time zones, or it seems like they're going to begin the game a day early on PlayStation 5 and Xbox consoles, because right underneath that, it does say Steam 2024, October 11th. So if we go over here to the character list, yes, they updated the character list. We do have brand new HD screenshots uh, right there. First up, we have... Goku from Super with the Ultra Instinct Transformation. Now, something interesting is that maybe they just haven't confirmed them just yet, but we don't have Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. We just have to wait for further confirmation on that. Real quick, let's go ahead and open up the image. Yes, so cool. Look at that. UI Goku in all his glory. And if we pay attention to the background, yes, we do have the Tournament of Power stage. The story is going to go absolutely ham, man. I'm looking forward to all the what if sagas which have been confirmed. We're going to go ahead and break all that down as well. But there's UI Goku. Moving forward, we do have. Oh, alright, so <laughs> Blue Evolved Vegeta has been confirmed via the box art. Uh, so if we have an image of that, we'll go ahead and break that down as well. Uh, but as for the second new character, we have Gohan. Adults Super Saiyan 2. So I believe within the trailer, which I haven't break down just yet. Stay tuned to the channel because we will get to that eventually. Uh, he does the superhero animation transformation. You know how he kind of like... I don't know what he does. I'll have it up on screen. But it, it's very reminiscent to the transformation from the superhero movie, right? Either that or it could be the electric Kamehameha that he did. Uh, against Majin Buu when he was still in the shell. You know how he kind of did the same uh, pose? It's very strange. So it could be the electric Kamehameha or it could be the superhero transformation animation. But instead of going into Super Saiyan to Potential Unleashed, it's Super Saiyan into Super Saiyan 2. That's just speculation. But I think he looks extremely cool. Go ahead and enlarge this. There he is in all his glory. Yeah, definitely. Super Saiyan 2, I mean, they confirmed it right here. <laughs> Moving forward, we have... Yeah, the Fused Warriors from the previous trailer. Oh, Golden Frieza has been confirmed. Of course, we all speculated this just because his base form does say Super right besides his name. But here's Golden Frieza on all his glory. We do have another gameplay screenshot of this character. I believe he's kind of doing a super attack. I also made a Golden Frieza edit, and it looks very similar to this one. Hey, I was kind of on point there. So let's go ahead and move forward to Raditz. Raditz. Oh, wait. First, we have Bardock. Truly one of the coolest characters in all of Dragon Ball. Comment down below your best guess on what this ultimate attack is. Um, I low-key forgot the name of the moves, but this just might be Final Spirit Cannon, whichever one. I don't know, man. He has multiple attacks that are kind of similar. He has that one ultimate attack from the good old classic Tengechi days. You know, this is for Trugesh, Pora, Vasha. You know, that epic ultimate. So we could definitely see that making a return. Moving forward, Raditz. Raditz. Confirmed within the actual trailer. We're going to be getting What If Sagas. You guys remember that one scene where it says like go right and then you get to fight Raditz alone without the help of Piccolo. We have Goku Black. Dude, when they first showed us in the trailer, I completely skipped over that. <laughs> but yeah, here he is utilizing his dark energy Kamehameha wave. Look how epic that is, especially with the aura. It's all purple. No, and this is just his base form. They haven't confirmed Rosé just yet, but soon, soon they're going to do that. Uh, we also got a bit more confirmation on characters, like for example, Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan. He was shown within the trailer, but we don't have him on the official character site just yet. 
We have Zamasu. Of course, you know, they need to fuse in order to get merged Zamasu and corrupt Zamasu, which again was already confirmed. I think he looks pretty dang epic as well. So the background, we are fighting on the West City stage. Uh, same thing for that one. And the Wasteland, which was already confirmed a while ago. I think Tournament of Power and the Cell Games are like the two new stages for this specific trailer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, anyway, going further down, we have those two characters and Jiren, the last character. I think they confirmed eight within this trailer. So look how epic this image is. What? Full power energy wave, perhaps? I think this is the ultimate attack that he did in the anime. You know how he kind of like throws out a key blast with the left hand and then he pushes it forward with the right hand. It's called like Overheat Magnetron, something along those lines. Uh, but the aura in the background, we have the purple electricity effect. Jiren and UI Goku, those specific battles, especially on the Term of Power, absolutely top tier quality. Looking forward to that. Full power Jiren. I mean, his base form was confirmed ages ago. Yeah, he's right besides Jiren. This is why I like the Japanese site a bit better, just because they organize them by actual characters uh, over on the English site, which again is currently down. Uh, they just categorize them by newly revealed. So I do appreciate that uh, from this version over here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the characters. New HD screenshots again. We do have more of that right over here. Oh, so first, yeah, let's go over the European sites. We do have confirmation on new game modes versus battles. But before we get into all that, let's break down the new illustration art piece that we have here. Yes, this is the official Sparking Zero box art. So y'all already know who's in the center. Ultra Instinct Goku utilizing Kamehameha. And I really do like the effects going on. We have the particles in the background. You know, the Kamehameha and the energy blasts kind of like glowing. Right besides Goku, we have confirmation of Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta. Again, he wasn't within the trailer, but uh, he we got confirmation via the box art. So I do appreciate that. Uh, behind Vegeta, we have full power Jiren. I think, again, utilizing the ultimate that we just saw within the HD screenshot. Overheats Magnetron. And full power Super Saiyan Broly. It's funny because uh, the collector's edition, we're going to be getting a statue of UI Goku versus Broly. And not necessarily Blue Gogeta versus Broly. You know, I feel like they're just trying to represent the what-if story sagas. Hey, hey, I'm looking forward to that. And then on the right, we do have Frieza from Super utilizing one of his ultimate attacks. I think it would have been a bit more epic if he was in his golden form, just because everyone else is in their ultimate final transformations. But he's using, I believe, that one attack to destroy Planet Namek. You know, you have five minutes left until the planet, you know, gets obliterated, I think. And then last but not least, Future Trunks. Super Saiyan Rage with the Sword of Hope ultimate attack. You can't make this up. Is this real? Is this? I still can't believe Sparking Zero is happening. So we have like the big main six characters. I mean, to be fair, they could have thrown up Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan up here, but I don't think they're confirmed just yet. I mean, we are going to be getting Dragon Ball Super Superhero content via the DLC. That's been confirmed with one of the uh, bundles that we're going to be getting but yeah box art immaculate right here we have the new category blaze a new path conquer the action-packed battles from the beloved original story or discover and unlock new encounters for your favorite z fighters and more relive your favorite moments from the series through cutscenes you can experience from the perspective of eight characters so when i first read this this definitely reminded me of Budokai 3. You remember how each specific character had their own story sagas? So you say, for example, Gohan. You pick Gohan and then you just go through the entire Z storyline through Gohan's perspective. So yeah, it just definitely reminds me of Budokai 3. But of course, this is the Tenkaichi series, so this might be a bit different. And again, it does say uh, uh, from the perspective of eight characters. So my prediction for the eight characters, of course, Goku, uh, you know, from Sand Saga to Majin Buu Saga, or up to the Tournament Power. We don't necessarily know if it's going to be from Z all the way to Super, which I think is going to be the case. So Goku, Gohan, which will make sense, you know, go through the early variation, then teen, then adult variation. Vegeta, of course, he's a big one, so that's the, the third character. Piccolo, Trunks, Trunks, that would be a good one. 
That's the fifth character. And... Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. I'm not entirely sure. I I'm sure those five... You know, most likely. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait for that. Blaze a new path. And over here... They... What is this, man? The online features top tier. So it says create, play, and share. Recreate your favorite battles from throughout the Dragon Ball story or set up your dream story battle with your favorite characters. We literally get to create our very own what if missions. Now, I'm sure they're going to have their own original what if stories, but with the addition of creating our own specific ones? What? Share your creations with other fans and experience the battles brought to life by imaginations around the world. And we also get to share them and play. We can definitely create a very unique series just around this specific feature right here. Create, play, and share. This is like Super Mario Maker, right? Don't they have this and that uh, specific game where you get to create levels and then send them out for others to... Uh, you know, try to beat. So that's two crazy features back to back. And then we have the third one, confirmation on offline local multiplayer. So it says, rivals make you stronger. Challenge other players online to test your skills, which is normal, you know, the online feature, or sit down with friends offline to hone your skills exclusively in the hyperbolic time chamber. Fight your way to become a champion across various tournament modes and victory conditions. However, it does say hone your skills exclusively in the hyperbolic time chamber, which is interesting. So I think it's limited to just that one stage, which is a bit iffy, I think. Don't get me wrong. It's great that we're getting offline local, right? But having it limited to one stage, I mean, uh, it it's fine. You know, I guess we'll just get used to it. It does make sense because we're just, you know, trying to practice, get better at the game. Uh, what it says, hone our skills in the hyperbolic time chamber. That's what you do in the time chamber. You do nothing but train. So it makes sense. But having it limited to one stage, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is, but I'm still looking forward to that. And right here, it says fight your way to become champion across various tournament modes and victory conditions. So tournament modes. I would like to see every single tournament that was shown in the Z movies and anime. So the original world tournament mode. The Galactic Tournament from the Bojack movie. I think that's also called the Hercule Tournament. The Cell Games. The No Name Tournament. You know, Universe 6 versus Universe 7. The Other World Tournament, like with Super Kyle Ken Goku versus Pycon. Uh, what else? What else? Tournament of Power. Imagine that uh, with a no flight rule. I don't think it's going to go that crazy but i can only imagine right i mean tournament power stage has been confirmed so you never know you never know now we do have the pre-orders but i'm going to go ahead and break all this down in a separate video just because we have way too much to go over so real quick uh starting from the right going to the left we have the deluxe edition of sparking zero then we have the ultimate edition then the collector's edition then the premium collector's edition and then the standard version of the game which is 70 bucks where you just get the game alone. Then we have the pre-orders, which you get from any bundle that you purchase, as long as you pre-order, which we get Super Gogeta, Broly. Yeah, again, we'll go ahead and break all that down. So we do have this link right here as well, which I believe provides the new HD screenshots from the Japanese website that we've uh, seen earlier. So here we have that cool looking UI Goku from the trailer itself. Next, we have Zamasu, Raditz, Full Power Energy Goku, or not Goku, Full Power Energy Jiren, <laughs> Golden Frieza, yeah, again, same images, UI Goku, Gohan Super Saiyan 2, Bardock, Goku Black, and that's it for that. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero brings back the Revert 3D action battle game series previously known as Budokai Tagaichi in the West. The game will be released on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S, and PC on 11th October 2024. New modes have been revealed, specifically Episode Battle, reliving some of Dragon Ball's most memorable battles with some twist. Alright, so that's called Episode Battle. Nice. And the Custom Battle, letting players create their dream showdown and share it online. Alright, so I think this is confirmation of the official name. So, 
going back over here real quick. The first one, Blaze a New Path description. This is called the Episode Battles, right? The Create, Play, and Share feature. This is called Custom Battles. Nice, nice. All right, so the two official names right there. Perfect. Here we have the trailer, which again, we will break down here soon. Stay tuned to the channel. Uh, Bandai Namco Europe has revealed that Dragon Ball Spark and Zero, the first entry in Dragon Ball Z Brickettigachi series in 15 years, will be released on 11th of, of October 2024 on PlayStation, Xbox Series, and PC. The game is now available for both physical and digital pre order. Developed by Spike Chunsoft, known for their work on the previous Dragon Ball Z Brickettigachi, Dragon Ball Spark and Zero lets players get into epic battles alongside legendary characters from the series. Episode battles will let you will let players pick one of eight characters and relive key battle moments in the Dragon Ball Saga. Yep. Custom battles introduce a new element to experiencing Dragon Ball as a game where players can try their hands at a match imagined by the developers or create their own battle situation and share it with the world. The new trailer also reveals new additions to the playable character roster with Goku, Super Ultra Instinct, Gohan Adult Super Saiyan 2, Golden Frieza, Bardock, Raditz, Goku Black, Zamasu, and Jiren Full Power. And again, we have the different editions of the game, which we will break down. Here we have this other Sparking Zero Bandai Namco article. But I think it's the same as the one we just read. Yeah, so confirming the different editions of Sparking Zero. We got the character confirmation and the descriptions for the new custom battle and episode of battles right as always thank you guys for the immense support and once the official english site of sparking zero goes live i think i might break that down as well just because it might be a bit different with some added details not entirely sure but thank you guys for the immense support this is it for today i'll see you guys in the next video peace